So thanks again to all the speakers for such wonderful and rich and very nuanced um, kind of intervention and, and presentations. It's really satisfied my, my thirst for, for that empirical and theoretical nuance that I was actually seeking and that was the reason behind organizing this event in the first place. Um, so as you've seen, there are many ways uh, and many angles through which one can actually approach this question of self-tracking and this notion of the quantified self. Uh, I mean, some of the issues we looked at were actually philosophical questions, phenomenological questions. Others were actually political and economic and, and social and so on. Uh, and that in itself, it does actually reflect how um, uh, practices of the quantified self and practices of self-tracking are becoming more and more ubiquitous. And hence why we need to actually account for the different and multifaceted nature of those practices. Um, and as you remember, we began by talking about the kind of relationship that we are actually developing with our technologies uh, and with our self-tracking uh, kind of practices, uh, the forms of kinship and the form, form, forms of rela relationalities that are emerging out of this coexistence of uh, users and the technological. Uh, and personally, that actually brought to my mind some of the very... Um, kind of early Heideggerian argument about uh, the being with uh, technology, the kind of the Dasein and Metzein uh, with technology, um, through which, I mean, through this argument, Heidegger was trying to uh, kind of deconstruct the idea of what technology is in the first place beyond the dual tropes of the instrumentalist view as well as the anthropological view. And I think that practices and technologies of the quantified self fall within this kind of like uh, the being with of technology because they're not just about the technological alone and neither are they about the human agency alone, but they embody a sense of co-creative, we mentioned co-creation here, uh, co-existential uh, and hybrid agency. So that's why it is important when we are analyzing these practices and approaching them through um, our kind of critical lens, we have to account for this hybridity that is inherent within these practices. Um, and then we moved on to talk about the issues of um, uh, quantified practices within the workplace and how increasingly um, employees are being kind of subjected to certain practices, but in a kind of willful and voluntary sense, not yet, as Chris argued, in a, an uh, imperative or in position kind of uh, perspective. Uh, but that is an interesting shift because increasingly we are seeing how um, this kind of this, this ideology of uh, improvement and tracking and self-betterment is seeping into other spheres, not just leisure or exercise or sport, but also the workplace, um, which kind of blurs the boundaries between the, the sphere of privacy and the sphere of intimacy with spheres of labor and, and work uh, and so on. So the question remains, um, would these practices remain at the level of uh, the optional or the voluntary, or are we actually designing a future whereby we see these practices becoming the norm rather than the exception or rather than uh, just a voluntary practice? Um, and then again, when we are coexisting with technology and we are actually uh, interacting with it, and when these media technologies become embedded and interwoven, as Job argued, into our everyday cultures, into our own bodies themselves, this is bound to actually affect how we understand ourselves, how we understand our bodies, how we understand what it means to be healthy nowadays in the first place, and what it means to actually have a body in the world um, in a phenomenological existential sense. So, so that's why it is important to uh, sustain that, that kind of interest and research into the effect of these technologies on, on our self-perception, uh, representations and performances within a different context and different uh, spheres of life um, altogether. And then also I liked how uh, the notion of neoliberalism has been challenged. I think we really have to be cautious, and I'm so glad to see that all of the panels have been cautious about it, to turn neoliberalism into a catch-all phrase whereby anything is dumped into this black box of neoliberalism. Because certainly the quantified self 
does actually carry within it uh, practices that are very much entrepreneurial, very much neoliberal, and uh, kind of almost act as a mouthpiece of the ethos of neoliberalism. But at the same time, there are instances, I mean, for instance, in Dottie's uh, case, where uh, it is not so much about this entrepreneurial, self-optimizing kind of um, uh, strategies of, of selfhood, but it goes beyond that. It embodies them, but at the same time, it challenges them. So looking at kind of this dialectic and this this dual kind of understanding of uh, these practices beyond neoliberalism is, is very important as well. And then issues of privacy. Um, also, I really enjoyed hearing that you know, privacy is not really a neutral or static concept, which uh, which is context uh, independent, but it is very much about the cultural setting, the cultural context. And whenever we are arguing um, about the need for privacy or maybe the obsolescence of privacy, one has to, to be able to account for the kind of geographical, uh, uh, the social, the cultural, the economic context that come with this self-tracking practices. Um, and I think... All of these issues that we have covered, they are still the tip of the iceberg. There are so many things we, we could have covered, but obviously it's one day events and we cannot actually uh, cover everything. Um, but I'm very glad to, that we have contributed to, um, you know, to this debate uh, in a more kind of nuanced and critical sense, because I think it is very important to make, like raise awareness that the quantified self practices are not neutral practices. They're not just about... Um, enjoyment or the pleasure of tracking and sharing data with each other but they do involve many many aspects that have far wider outreach and wider implications that people have to be uh, aware of so my own personal project here at IS is actually dealing with um, the quantified self practices as well uh, and I'm looking at it um, through both a philosophical as well as a sociological perspective uh, and if you are interested in staying in touch and knowing more about the project and following its uh, progress uh, so here are my uh, some of the details so we have uh, we've just created a Twitter account for the project you have my email address and very soon we are currently developing um, a website uh, and uh, uh, the name Metric Life. So, um, so I hope you stay in touch. And thank you so much for joining us. You've been a great audience and fantastic speakers. Thank you.